Hello, I'm Todd Peterson with Peterson Law Offices. I often get asked this question uh, from a person who's been bit by a dog. Is there a one bite rule with regard to dog bites? The answer is a little complicated and perhaps it can be answered yes and no. In Oregon, there's a law, a statute, which says if you get bit by a dog, it's strict liability. But that's only in regard to the medical bills that the person, the dog bite victim, incurs. In terms of compensation for pain and suffering, the law requires that the claimant, the plaintiff, has to show that there was some aggression on the part of the dog towards uh, the dog bite victim. For example, one trial I did in Clackamas County involved a woman who was bit on her finger when she was bending over gardening. The question was that we, I had to show uh, to the court and to the jury that there was some part, some aggression on the part of the dog before um, the attack occurred. In that particular case, I was able to present evidence in the form of testimony from uh, another person that the dog was aggressive towards them and that it was charging a fence and barking in a vicious manner. So as long as there is some um, aggressiveness shown before the dog bite occurred, then it, there's enough evidence for it to go to the jury and let the jury make their decision. And oftentimes the um, insurance adjusters want to see that as well. Not all the times. Some insurance companies will settle without um, overt proof of that. But if, we, if you can show that there was some aggression on the part of a dog concerning a different incident, whether it's a dog bite or whether it's um, growling or something that made a person apprehensive for their safety, then it makes a more solid case than if you don't have that information.